Hello and welcome to Volusia Magazine. I'm Amber Patterson and we're glad to have you with us. Today, Volusia Here and Now correspondent Joanne Magley will tell us about the partnership between the West Volusia Humane Society and the Tomoka Correctional Institute Work Camp. Shelter dogs. They've had a rough life and some people are hesitant to adopt them because they aren't sure what to expect. But that's not the case for a special class of dogs from the West Volusia Humane Society. That's because they're part of a special training program at Tomoka Correctional Institute called Prison Pups and Pals. It's the first AKC registered club to bring a training program to a prison and program founder Alan Weigel says he and his training partner couldn't be more pleased. Marge and I really didn't know what to expect because we didn't know how to handle the prison environment but we were blessed to have so many great guys come in that were eager, that knew a little bit about it, and then we went on, Marge and I went on to train, to teach them all the basic command in simple obedience training. The guys Alan is referring to are actually inmates at the Tomoka Correctional Institute's work camp in Daytona Beach. The inmates apply to be in the program and are chosen by prison officials. The dogs live with their trainers who take care of them throughout the day, every day, for seven weeks. The dogs come in here, obviously a lot of them have been picked up off the street and so we have no idea what their training is. Most of them had no training, no anything that they would know. They come in here not knowing each other, they don't know the trainers and they don't know what to do. After seven weeks in the Prisoner Pups and Pals program, a dog like Molly is ready to be adopted by a loving family. And it's not just the dogs who benefit. Some of the inmates are looking forward to working in the dog training field when they get out of prison. Their um, devotion to the program. They um, have taken a real interest in the animals, uh, very aware of their um, changes in behavior and any health issues, and they have come very attached to the animals. And so it makes them have feelings that maybe they haven't had in a long time. About turn. And halt. Franklin Delp is the head trainer among the inmates. He was chosen by Alan and Marge as one of the leaders because he did so well training his dogs in the previous two sessions. The whole experience of prison is really a dehumanizing thing. And being around the dogs, taking care of them, you know, looking out for them, having them dependent on you, it's a real humanizing thing. So what's been the most difficult part of the program? Learning how to read them, learning what what all their body language was telling you. Learning what, what caused them pain, you know, what not to do, what to do. Uh, learning when they needed to go to the bathroom. And what about the easiest thing about training the dog? Uh, the easiest thing was just giving them affection. They seem to thrive on that. You give them affection and they'll do anything in the world for you. Once they know that you love them, yeah. For Volusia Here and Now, I'm Joanne Magley.